time to get a little wild with the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra back again in 2022. No, it's not February 2017, but we're back with the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 box, white, black, and red. That's right. You know it, the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 Zebra. You have the Prime Knit Upper. You have the SPLY 350 in red. Of course, the pull tab on the back. Nice to see that present. Adidas and Yeezy on the insole, semi-translucent outsole that will encase the boost, the iconic zebra print. I went with the six and a half because no matter what, I would just say go up a half size in 350 V2s and most Yeezy models. And from here, let me just ask your thoughts. Would you take the bread, the beluga, or the zebra? These are heralded as some of the most nostalgic and iconic 350 V2 colorways. So be sure to sound off before we go any further. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much all I got. Hopefully you were able to secure it. And uh, go ahead, comment W or L below in the comments. Okay, okay, okay. I'm kidding, but... Truth be told, you know exactly what this sneaker is, what it looks like. It's a standard 350 V2 in the iconic zebra colorway. So there isn't much to go over in terms of the unboxing. However, for the on foot and styling, let's just mash them together. I surround my soul with the positivity. That's why I don't worry about the things that I don't see. Yeah. These days I don't worry about much. I think we should have some more fun. Let's get right to it because again, it's a straightforward Yeezy. We know what it is. So let's spend a little more time with the on foot side by side with the actual fits. And I will show four in total. Already referenced earlier in the video, but I went up a half size for my true size. In most women's sneakers, I'm a seven and a half, which usually equates to a men's six, but I went up to a six and a half as I do in most Yeezy models, especially 350 V2s for a comfortable fit. On the right for the fit, we have a rather old Champion and Supreme collaboration in the half zip all white pullover, the WNBA what the shorts that will feature every single team and I can't wait for the draft and the new season to start. And this is just a very laid back, easy look to throw on for the spring or even the summer. So go ahead, comment your thoughts below. Still giving the socks a little bit of shine because I love that oversized trefoil logo on the socks in red. Wearing very relaxed distressed denim by American Eagle. I think they're technically considered mom jeans. And then the old style Run DMC tank uh, by Adidas. This was actually picked up from Clicks while in Milwaukee last year. So you have the tank. It's a medium, but they run very, very oversized if you're ever able to get your hands on one. And then a distressed black cardigan just for those cooler nights in the spring or summer so be sure to comment your thoughts below as well on outfit number two If we go back to the 2016-2017 era where Yeezy was truly booming with the 350 V2, you remember those Adidas track pants, but this time let's switch it up. Let's not go with the traditional black and white, even though I still love those. Let's go with the olive green track pant by adidas with my very own act your age not your shoe size t-shirt this was the original design that dropped a few years ago and then i'm wearing the cuzzo clothing varsity jacket it's very lightweight i like to play around with red a little bit more with these fits with the zebra just because it's a minimal part of the sneaker but i think it allows the outfit itself to pop a little bit more and for anyone curious, the olive green Adidas pants were actually an eBay find, so I would start there if you would like a pair. And finally, rounding out the fourth look, going with the darker khaki pants these were part of the champs original branding their own clothing line they had picked these up on deep discount a few years ago they have zippers at the bottom which i like to allow the bottom hem to open up on top of the low profile sneaker uh wearing an anti-social social club shirt because you know what let's take it back and also a message wear whatever you want to wear i don't care the time period the era what's in style not in style 
rock whatever you want. Also wearing the minimal double zip jacket here. So it has a two way zipper, even though it's quite annoying to actually get it to zip up. I'll just be honest, but I like the paisley print again, playing off that little bit of red in the zebra. So comment your favorite look. What's going on everybody, it's your girl TJ back with another video on Talks with TJ. A little bit of a switch up here in this video just because it is a pair that you guys know. You've seen it in the past, you've seen it already before for the 2022 pair. You may even see comparison videos and guess what? Don't have that for you, didn't have that pair. Now I have them. It's amazing, I'll say this, to have the OGs in the collection or at least the OG colorways. It may not be the original release of course, but there's a restock that's involved and if you have an opportunity to get it awesome i saw a lot of w's on confirmed or i should say from confirmed from you guys on twitter on instagram which is amazing and then of course these also dropped at dick sporting goods and champs and Foot Locker. so you had a lot of different options to pick up a pair now very similar to wave runners i think there were there are still people that wanted this shoe weren't able to get their hands on the shoe and so that's you hopefully there's a restock or that resale stays relatively low so that you can get your hands on this i mean it's a 350 v2 it's comfortable i love the zebra pattern it's you know it when someone has that on you absolutely know it i joked earlier in a video this uh this past week it takes me back to that 2015 2016 era just because you saw nothing but 350 v2s uh you saw again the tiro pants you saw the track pants you saw usually i won't lie this is a fit that i appreciate those the pants like a gray hoodie gray crew neck and the denim jacket i rather appreciate that so i don't have a problem with it i know that's a style some people don't rock with anymore but honestly don't try to keep up with trends of what somebody else thinks is hot or not if it works for you you like it it's your style go ahead and rock it you guys were able to see that then the actual styling uh switch up for this video where hey i'm wearing pants that still have zippers on the bottom i know some people despise those and they won't wear them i'm not that person i'll absolutely wear them um so you guys were able to see this was like the older brand of like champs's own in-house brand uh these pants i picked up on discount like a few years ago and i love them they go great with so many different pants i love the fact that they have the zipper at the bottom i can wear them truly tapered or allow them to open up at the top of the sneaker or whatever shoe i'm wearing so play around with the style have fun i joked around a bit to take you back to uh 2016 truly with the anti social social club shirt but this can be styled so many different ways for spring summer fall winter doesn't matter it's a zebra similar to the beluga now that's the beluga reflective but still you get my point similar to other iconic colorways like the bread you know that colorway you know the shoe not much more needs to be said um again i think yeezy is on a great path right now to bring back and restock some of the beloved colorways he's reaching far back into the archives with the turtle dove 350 v1 that will drop later this year i'm sure a lot of people will go for that as well again continue to enter confirmed adidas foot locker uh champs enter all those places also your other uh boutiques and stores so that is definitely clicks sneaks they went ahead and had their stock available uh you had local residents that were able to pick them up you had people online that were able to purchase and it's always great when you can get your hands on a pair of shoes you really want, love. All of my pairs go straight to toe. I'm just, that's just me. Everything goes straight to toe. In terms of dead stock, I have two dead stock pairs. I consider three just because the 97 Swarovski crystal, like I've only really worn that on backdrop and then that's it. But uh, I have a double up of two Jordans and outside of that, I wear all my pairs. Doesn't matter. They all get worn. I love to switch up the rotation and hopefully you enjoy the pairs that you get your hands on. I think that's what they're meant for. So comment below W L. And as always, what was your favorite outfit? featured in the video comment your thoughts as well on the switch up the on foot is present with the different fits that way you guys can see how the pants really look up close with the actual again designated fit so i appreciate you guys as always act your age not your shoe size peace